Here I'm going to demonstrate one of the neat features of a thermoelectric cooler. Uh, normally when you apply power to them, they move heat from one side to the other. But uh, when you apply heat to one side and then cool the other side, it actually generates electricity. Here I have a uh, board with a Cree high brightness uh, LED, which is a 350 milliamp LED, uh, 50 lumen. And we have four thermoelectric coolers mounted in series to this aluminum box. Uh, you can see that it's just a hollow box. It's just a nice way to get the heat from the candles to the thermoelectric coolers and two uh, old uh, CPU heat sinks. Mount those up there. Just stick them on top of the thermoelectric coolers. We have five tea candles that are burning. And we're just going to put these right over the top of the tea candles and I'm going to turn off the lights in the room. And let's see what happens as this heats up. And the LED is turning on. The heat's moving from the uh, candles through the thermoelectric coolers to the heat sinks. Uh, it'll take a minute or two for the heat to actually start really moving through the bottom because the bottom box has to heat up, which is this guy here. And it's pretty thin aluminum. And I'm touching it, it's not that hot yet. It's getting really hot yet. Uh, still hot enough that I can just touch it with my fingers without getting burned. So you can see the LED is getting pretty bright. See if the box is getting too hot to touch yet. Not yet. Yeah, it's getting pretty hot though. This LED is bright enough to see through my finger with. And see through my thumb. So. We'll remove one of the heat sinks and watch what happens to the power dropped off a little bit. Remove the other one. And you see there's no current being developed by the TECs because they have no way to cool off. Stick the uh, heat sinks back on. Thanks for watching.